all right welcome back to the channel i'm here today with pudding pudding say what's up hello hello and uh yeah we're gonna be doing a shadow game today i'm playing a deck you see before you this is just basically a take on diego's deck from uh past tournament and i updated it with some things that i personally like but yeah i'm, I'm a fan of this deck and i'm sure pudding is gonna be playing his renowned fairy deck that i believe marcus hayden has now been playing and doing well with and other players have seen some success with his fairy deck it's very 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 good i think it's the best fairy deck in the format so we will be putting these two decks against each other to see which one comes out on top top uh but i think that's enough yapping today was also the advanced edison tournament and you got third place how was that experience for you like the whole go first go second thing i think this deck strictly gets better with advanced edison i agree like nothing other than uh and rise and sork you lose anything from with the prio and the fact that your alchemist doesn't miss timing against rikos just means you have like eight cards if your opponent sets a riko you just summon an alchemist and plus one off of it which is amazing. Yeah. Um, they can't steal Soul of Purity and Light with a Goyo they're not making. And they're like tool block. Like pretty much every other deck loses some toolbox. I don't think this deck really loses any toolbox. I rarely find myself making Goyo. Sorry, I'm looking for my random die generator right now and I literally don't see it. And it's like annoying the hell out of me. I have no idea what this thing is. I'm just going to have to Google it. Okay. Uh, just roll one. All right. True randomness. That's yeah, a good I'm, idea. I'm, I'm going. That's what I'm going for. Okay. All right. Go luck, have fun. You know, all that good stuff. Good luck, have fun. But yeah, so I noticed that you were going second, it looks like, right? In that tournament, in the advanced tournament, where you draw going second and all that. Well, especially against decks like Blackwing, which I feel like are, are already a decent matchup. This deck doesn't do bad going second. Like Marcus said, when he was playing, I think he went and like... I think he resolved his, um, or he lost every single viral and Ooh. he went undefeated. Yeah, which so, is crazy. That's crazy in regular Edison second. format to lose every die roll and also go undefeated. That is, yeah. It just, it plays very well going second. Bye, Lila. Yes, indeed. Bye, my girl. Hello, my homie. Yep. Homie's free. My guy. We're gonna attempt to drop this it's dude. It's Jors. Yeah, Jors is good. All right, so it's funny. We've been playing Edison's format so long now that you and I are just like quickly like, yep, this is what's happening. Yep, Lila's dead. Yep, Gors is coming down. Just like everything with the swiftness at this point. Makes sense. I mean, yeah. honestly though, the fun thing for me is I've been playing this deck for like six months now. Yeah. And it's just like, Every turn is different. It's really enjoyable. For Your deck reason. is hard to play. Uh, I was testing it a little bit. Uh, it was over a month ago when I was, it was after nationals. Cause I remember you and your friend both almost top nationals basically with the deck. And I was playing it with OG. First I tried pure fairies. I just wanted to revisit pure fairies and boy is that deck fucking bad. So that was the first thing we played that. And when I tell you a hamster literally soloed me, like OG just literally flipped a hamster. Like I attacked into a hamster with a shining angel or Nova Summoner and I just lost. Like I immediately lost the game. And then I switched to uh Christius one, I think it was. I tried that out, and then that was bricking and like weird stuff. It was just it was annoying. Um I would set a hamster and then it would get like Caius and shit like that. And I just couldn't get off the ground. And then I switched to your deck, and that was the first fairy deck that I played that night where I won a full set. And then he won the second set, and then I think I won the third set. And so I was like, all right, well, this, your build is definitively just, to me, you know, in that small sample size of testing, it was just definitively the better deck. So I'm I'm a believer. I'm a fan of uh, of your fairy build anyway. I'm going to chain drag in hand. Yes, that's fine. It's, Big drag. There's always, like... I don't know. When I look at replays, like in the tournament and stuff, you can pretty much always tell why you lost a game. Yes. Which is really nice. Also, you take some damage. It's like 23. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. You're good. I know we're just yapping right now. So if you're listening to this episode, or you're watching this video. Don't mind us. Me and me and Pascal are we're boys at this point. We've been going back and forth, just discussing stuff all the time. And this is just our opportunity to do that again. Okay, that guy is fucking huge. 36. Big boy. Yeah. Oh, goodbye. So... Mm. Yeah, I think all yours. All right. Bring this thing back. 
Bring it, bring it back. Bring it, bring it, bring it back. Uh, yeah, I think this is the time to do this. Oh, that is a card. This is a this is a big ass card too, right here. Holy shit. Uh, can I chain fader to fader? I don't. I don't think so. I've never seen that interaction before. I feel like you can't do that. But then, like, you can mirror force and deprison, so maybe you can. I just never seen that. And I don't. That's why. Because it's when your opponent monster declares an attack. Yeah, I. And you can mirror force deep prison. That's you my... absolutely can mirror force deep prison, but I don't even know if I've ever seen somebody go mirror force fader before. Like, hold on. Yeah. This is one. Why do every time I play you, I swear to God, why do we end up coming across like the most obscure rulings ever? Because this is fucking obscure. Hold on. I'm control effing battle fader. Okay, oh, you trick. cannot have two battle faders in the same chain. Oh, it says that somewhere? Yeah. So the, I'm just going to declare a fader. Yep, so he goes down to 23. The trigger effect activates during the first sub-step of the battle step attack declaration. Uh, you cannot activate multiple copies of battle fader. See, I just... I guess because we've never seen that... We've never seen that before, and I just assume that, like... You know, that's kind of our metric of knowing, like, oh, maybe this is impossible because I've just never, ever seen that before. So you take 23 directly, and then I'm going to attack with him. You can reveal Fader again. This guy will go down to 1800. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Okay, so you're at 700. I'm pretty sure that is all I'm doing. Good old lad. Good old boys, we're drinking whiskey and rye and saying this will be the day that I die. This will be the day that I die. Yeah, like if you have a Kai's, I just die regardless. Yeah, but, you, uh, I, I would. Yeah, I would not. I would not yeah. think too much about good old Caius, the Shadow Monarch. Let's just go here. Let's go run over this guy. Yep. Yeah. So we will summon back the Swap Frog. I will take 200. I'll swap frog effect. Can I do that? Can he activate the damage step? I do not know. All right, I'm just going to activate. I, I, I feel like you could. Yeah, I think you can. Because like if an Armageddon Knight gets summoned off a tomato, I feel like you get the effect. I don't know why all of a sudden I just feel like I don't know Yu-Gi-Oh! rulings or something. Like I'm just stupefied. Uh, although I will say I haven't been playing that much in the last week like the last week has been setting up new pc wedding i had a wedding this week and i had to go to wedding rehearsal and a bunch of other shit so it's just been like an interesting time Ooh. oh that was uh oopsie daisies yeah is that a mystery card it is indeed a mystery it's a mystery okay Bring this guy out oh There you go here. Effect target swap. Yep. Okay. So we have five. This is six. This is seven, eight. So we can make anything basically is the monster. We can make literally anything. And I think this is going to be like the first time I ever make fucking Flambo Acursius. I can make. Oh shit. Yeah, I know, right? I can make Flambo Acursius, which he will be 1800 when he attacks though. So that's not a lot of attack. And then there's also the option of uh, Army Arm is a number one. So both of those, but then, oh wait, no, it'll be even lower because you have two souls. So then I have to consider, because I know you have Battle Fader since I was attacking with Lad and you were attempting it. So this guy will come out and be 1500, which I feel like it will kill most things. I think it, you're at 700. I feel like that still kills you through like m most, mostly anything that you have. I think I probably just go next. Yeah, I think I think I just do this, right? I think I just do this here. I also have follow up in my hand. Yeah, because you're 15, so I think that's exactly. Dull. Yeah, that's exactly dull. Yeah. I don't know what it is about dueling book and drawing multiples, but like double Nova, double Soul of Purity, and like double Fader. I always draw multiples on dueling book, and yeah, I never it's... really see in like real life very much it's it's pretty annoying that's for damn sure uh, let me add that in db is 
I think I gotta do that thing where you click like the randomize button or whatever it is. <laughs> I just like shuffle a duck up some. Yeah. I don't know if I'm side decking correctly here. We're just trying shit out. I think that this makes sense. Yeah, I didn't open up Treeborn Access as you saw. Like I passed my first turn and I, well, I set Torrential. Then turn two, I just literally passed because I drew Gores. Then turn three, I finally drew Swap Frog. And I was like, oh, nice. I can play the game after three turns. Like, thank God my opponent's not down my throat already because, yeah. I'm just going to go in like this, I think. I think this is fine. Yeah, we're just going to go in like this. Yep. There we go. Okay. Um, yep, so two fairies. God, that's so bad. Oh, that means anything I do literally plays right into fucking Christia. Your deck is so annoying. <laughs> All right, well, summon. Yep, sounds good. Activate. Yep. Declare effect. And declare effect. Yep, we accept. So you distribute it for cost? Uh, yes. At the very least. Nah, no, nah, nah, no, nah. Yep, yep. Press the, uh... There it is. Nah, nah, grab nah, this guy. Nah, nah, nah. Yep. Play into the mirror force. Ugh. Yes. That's the nice thing. If you open, like, Christy and a Miller, you know your Christy is coming out fast. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, your hand just literally ruined mine. It, it's not even... This is going to be a quick set. We're playing quick sets over here. Quick sets, get your quick sets. Uh huh. <laughs> Attack into the dupe. Nope, that's a tree one. Hmm. <laughs> All right, just got this is timing. Okay. Activate. Mask, nice. All right, and you have four fairies again. One, two, three, four. Yep, that is a scoop phase. Okay. That was fun. Shout out to everybody I had fun. Um, <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh is so fun. Don't you yeah, second turn, Christia is not very enjoyable. Yeah, I mean, I, I saw the writing on the wall. It was just like, can his five cards not be specifically Herald plus fucking Christia plus like, like just live Herald plus Christia. I was just hoping and obviously my hopes did not, they didn't matter. They, they just didn't matter. Yu-Gi-Oh did not care about my hopes and dreams. Okay. Fuck. Yep. Good old boys, what are you asking? Why are you saying this will be the day that I die? This will be the day that I die. Okay. So you have mask, brain, alk, Lila, Honus, Christia. So it's going to be get rid of mask. Pretty sure. Yep. So continue. Yep. Okay. So your hand is Brain Alk Honest Christia. Brain Deep. Alk Honest Christia. Okay. What to do here? Brain control is definitely annoying as hell. I think I do this. 
Yep. No, you have on this. That's... Yeah, just kill her. Oh, that's pretty good. Uh oh. I'm just thinking here. Yeah, take your time. I'm in a spot of all time. I think that's not bad. Yeah, I think that puts you in a pretty rough spot, so fuck it, let's do it. Um... Yep. Yep. It's not. This thing is 900 stronger? Or is it? Uh... Main phase too good? Yep, yep. I don't know. Christy, uh, this card is so outrageous. Your deck summons it entirely too fast. Okay. Um, you grabbed back. What was it? Honest. Okay. My deck is absolutely refusing to draw outs to this fucking thing. Light, fuck me. That shit came right off the that top. That was a and good top deck, yeah. I think, yeah, I think that was the best draw. Uh, let's see. Oh, there is... Alright, well... This card is fucking disgusting, dude. Yeah. The deck, when your it, deck works, it is it is terrifying. Like, when it when it actually does what it's supposed to do, it is one of the scariest decks. Um, my deck was just like, you're not getting a soul exchange or a, a trap card at all this game that can deal with that fucking thing. I had to take the mask too because the mask actually cucked me too. At this, these frog decks that are not hero frogs, their weaknesses, the mask are restrict and shit is just like so annoying because you just yeah. you, have, you have to out it. Like my whole hand, if mask resolved, my whole hand basically outside of junk synchron was just like really bad. I couldn't really do anything, and I can't just yeah. rely on like oh I'm gonna hope that junk synchron rides out for the entire game. Like that's not realistic. I know that uh, I wasn't originally siding Mask. I saw Marcus siding three of it. Mm -hmm. And I think for the Frog matchup, instead of like Soul Release or anything like that, if you have the Mask of Restrict, the Frog deck, the main way it outs your board anyway, is like Soul Exchange and stuff like that are brutal for the deck. Mm -hmm. So just being able to flip up like Mask Crisky is pretty much game most of the time. Because even yeah. if they snatch you, they can't like get rid of your first yeah yeah and these 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 decks like this i mean it, it they're resilient when they draw trap cards but if you don't see traps then like it's really bad like i have deep prisons and stuff like that um but i didn't see a single trap this game it was just like an all monster hand and then the uh water art and if your hand is resilient obviously it's also like not as good um but yeah that was a pretty that was a pretty good game good games sorry if that wasn't very interactive but I mean, I don't think any... I think that that's just what Edison is at this level now. Like, game one was interactive either. I summoned Lad on you, you just lost the game, right? Like, it was just... Like, you didn't get to play. Then game two, I lost on turn one. You summoned Lila, Mill, some fairies, and had Herald of Orange Light and Christia. In game three, there was, like, one turn of interaction. I made a Cataster, you immediately drew it out, and that was game. That was you, game. That's, that's really why I hope the water-fire format catches on. Because I don't know why Hat... Like, I get people like the combo aspect of Hat, but water fire is literally just hat without the degenerate decks. <laughs> but you know like people like degeneracy, it's right? It's so fair. Yeah, they do. That's the thing. Like people he, love. It's yeah. fun to play Infernity. It's fun to play Sylvan. But I don't want to be like nobody wants to sit there and watch their opponent play for like forty minutes to end on like yeah, three I, break and a barrier. Like Sylvan's has never been for me. Like I've never liked that deck. Honestly, like I spoke about this many times. That deck to me is just always the juice isn't worth the squeeze. I feel like you do way too much, and like other decks just do what you do better. Like there are other decks that just soul charge better. They like gain free advantage better in the format sylvan's looks really cool like if it feels cool it looks cool but at the end of the day is so much work and i feel like for very marginal 
result compared to some of the other decks that just like for like mythic rulers mythic rulers is another deck that summons big ass monsters it gets a lot of card advantage by doing so it makes a bunch of rank eights and sevens right the same exact levels that you make the same exact rank monsters that uh sylvans does without working nearly as hard you're just like play dragon shrine send blue eyes send this dragon ruler or send blue eyes send white stone search blue eyes whatever summon card you mill three play soul charge soul charge for four start making monsters go and like you do like that play really simply will end on a bunch of big ass things that all have ridiculous effects whereas sylvan's is like all right so first we're going to sylvan charity we're going to stack these cards then we're going to mount sylvania we're going to reveal this then this guy's going to excavate five we're going to rearrange these cards here then we're going to summon hermitry and hermitry is going to look at the top card and then do this and then here comes the fucking it's just too much like i'm i'm never I'm never down. Like I'm just never down to work I that have hard. Severe PTSD from playing that deck at locals in 2014, and my friend would always open Lone Fire Soul Charge and end on like double Felgrand, Stardust Spark, and then set a Vanity's Emptiness, which is just fucking gross. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, that that yeah, should. I think never I think the other decks are more consistent and they're way easier to play. Yes. So like there is a so point. The fuck up. There's a point where the difficulty of the deck doesn't warrant the actual result that it gets when it does play perfectly. I think even if you play Sylvans with, like, you're a flawless Sylvan player, you never mess up, the increase that you get in productivity of that deck is so marginal compared to just, like, the other decks in a format. Like, Gear Gia literally spams the board by flipping armor one time, basically. There's, like, flip armor, search accelerator, special summon accelerator, overlay, make gear, god detached, get accelerator, summon number, like, I haven't normal summoned yet, Normal summon a guy like Arsenal, special accelerator, overlay, make a second gear, Gaga, detach. And it's just like they're doing all of this off of very little. Or in phase, gear 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 on your opponent's in phase, summon two guys, draw for turn, overlay, gear gear do the exact same thing. And they, they do all of this at card advantage and they're spamming the board and they do big damage. And all they did was flip a trap card in the in phase. That's like literally all the work they did. You know what I mean? And everything floats too. Everything floats. Like they, the Gear Gigan X just floats. Like you banish it, they still get their little MK2 guy. Yeah. Everything in the deck floats. Yeah. No, it's. I I, I hear a lot about Firewater format. Uh, I don't know anything about it except that people say it's basically like like hat format without Soul Charge. I think is the main thing. Like Soul Charge just doesn't exist yet. It's literally the same format, but uh, four axis Fire Fist exists because they have the three wolf bark still, mm. which I honestly don't think is like an unbelievably powerful deck. Um, and then it also has Mermail with three gunned, which is good, but it just like shifts the strategy from being kind of make rank sevens focused to um, Keep summon like Pike and Turge, make a rank four, add yeah. back your gun. Um, and it's, it's a really balanced format. Like all the power spells and traps are at one. Uh, there's nothing as sacky as like brain control, gear gear, fire fist, boojins, harpies, spell books, like fire kings topped a bunch. Machina gadget isn't bad with the redox. There's so many fun decks. I think I I looked through the format because it's my favorite one, and I have like 20 decks built. Is I think 15 decks in the time period topped a YCS. Oh my god! So it's like one of the most crazy diverse formats that's ever existed. And the power level is so low that, like, pretty much everything can win sometimes. Yeah, people don't talk about that format a lot. So for whatever reason, it's not as popular. And maybe just because Hat has some kind of nostalgia in people's mind. Or th the original point that I made was that people just like the degeneracy of Hat. Like, they just like the fucking Soul Charge for four or five. Which, I'm not going to lie. I do high-key like the card Soul Charge. But from a competitive standpoint, I don't imagine that I would like to play that format very long. But from a fun standpoint, right? If I'm just playing hat for like a month, which is basically what I was doing for a little while, then I like Soul Charge in that small vacuum of time. I think if I had to go through it, like I've been playing Edison for almost three years. I feel like if I was playing years and years of it, there'd be no way, there'd be no way <laughs> I would be enjoying that still. Yeah, and I think People, you're right, people like those kind of sacky cards and that kind of yeah. aspect of things. Like, I think that's something that people like about Edison too. Mm -hmm. You never really feel like the game is down if they whittle down your resources because you can still top brain, you can still top yep. bad, you can still top these like obscene power cards. It's just like people like formats where Heavy Storm, Monster Reborn and stuff like that are legal. 
just when you can have like it's it's fun to use the power cards yes yep no, i agree i mean that's just Yu-Gi-Oh. i think people have to remember that whether a format is better competitively doesn't matter so like even if fire water format is a better competitive format or whatnot at the end of the day i think one of the issues is that a lot of people might not find it as fun as hat and it, because it's too similar to hat they just won't play it like it won't be it won't catch on the same way hat is catching on essentially is what i'm saying because it isn't as fun it might be overall a better format a lot of people say that whether that's true or not i, I think it's besides the point i think that people just have fun doing hat things that obviously you can't do in fire water format right like they're just not yeah they're just not in that format and people people do find the hat stuff fun like i'm one of the people who i genuinely like the things that hat the fun things that hat can do i just i also don't like some of the ignorance that hat has in it uh that people cope about but like i think that soul charging for five is is like every time me and stango or luke or whatever we we do a video and we're playing playing hat format whenever it's time to soul charge i'm like do not fucking leave anything in the graveyard soul charge for all of it i don't care if you are like oh i don't know what i'm making with that just bring it back anyway i don't care like it's it's a free monster like it's a free car bro bring that shit back like i don't i do not care soul charge fill your board up every time that's how i play we'll figure yeah. out what to do with the monsters later but bring it back that's and i like funny. for the moment as well that there's still like a ton of diversity in the format maybe it's not fully solved yeah, yeah and that's like, good that's a great thing I don't feel like anything is tier zero. Even yeah. Infernity loses really hard to like side cards and DD Crow and Maxi and stuff. Yep. It's a really strong deck, but it gets really punished by the sideboard. Yeah. It's really yeah. funny if you spirit. If you what? Uh, if you side spiritualism. Oh, yeah. I remember Sahabi you can't did that. To? Yeah. You can't respond it. You return one of the things. All their breaks and their barriers are offline. And you make an exiton. And the game's just over. And you just. Yeah, Same thing with like needle over. sealing. Needle sealing, like they draw for turn and you're like needle sealing, kill everything. Yeah. So, so I think like the decks are good, but I don't think there's like a clear best deck at the moment. Yeah, that's why every time people say like, oh, cat is the best deck or whatever, I'm like, that's not true. Like, I don't even play the format enough, and I know that there's no fucking way that that deck is the best deck. Like that is that is just like the biggest misinformation I've ever heard. Like cat is a good deck. It's not it's definitely it's not the best deck. Like, not even close. But besides the point, uh, all right, GG's, I'm going to get out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We will catch you in the next one. Peace. Peace.